Hola estudiantes del español. Hoy tenemos una lección rápida. We have a quick lesson today. This one is just a quick review of the verb saber and the verb conocer. Saber and conocer, of course, both mean to know, um, but they're used differently. You can't, you can't interchange them. They're not synonyms. They're used differently. It's almost as if we're learning a different language. Okay, here we go. Um, let's just do a quick review. Um, first of all, saber, 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 simply means to know facts, knowledge, how to. Okay, so if you're talking about I know how to do something, that's saber. If you know the capital of a country, that's saber. If you know math stuff, that's saber. Facts, knowledge, how to. Okay, uh, we got to remember that saber is irregular in the yo form. Uh, we've mentioned this before. Yo sé is how you say I know. The rest of the conjugations follow the normal ER verb pattern. Tu sabes, el sabe. Nosotros sabemos, ella sabe, um, ellos saben, nosotros sabemos, said all those. Um, real quick, let's just do a drill. How do you say I know with the verb saber? Sé. How do you say we know with saber? Sabemos. How do you say they know with saber? Saben. How do you say she knows? Sabe. Ella sabe. Okay, so that's the verb saber. Here are some examples with saber. First of all, um, again, facts, knowledge. Yo sé, or you can leave the yo out. Sé que dos más dos son cuatro. That's fact type of knowledge. So we're going to use saber. Sé que dos más dos son cuatro. Or let's try this one. Ella sabe que no quiero ir al baile. She has that knowledge. She has that factual knowledge. She knows. Ella sabe que no quiero ir al baile. That's fact knowledge. Ella sabe que no quiero ir al baile. Que okay, nosotros sabemos que Buenos Aires es la capital de Argentina. Argentina. This is knowledge fact. So we're using saber because it's knowledge fact. We know. Okay, let's do another one here. Saber. ¿Sabes jugar al ajedrez? Do you know how to play chess? Okay, now even though this isn't really knowledge, it is um, a, a how to, how to do something. So we use saber also when we're talking about how to. Okay, so those are some examples of saber. Let's look now at conocer real quickly. Simply, conocer means uh, to know as in familiarity or to know a person. Uh, kind of like the English word recognize, they look familiar to you. That yes. recognize is that same conocer, is that same verb. Conocer, recognize, or cognize, cognition, cognizant. Cognizant, that's the English word. So, to know as in familiarity or know a person. Just like saber, conocer is also irregular in the yo form. Yo conozco, we add the letter Z in there. Z, C, O. Not yo conozco, but yo, yo conozco. Okay, let's look at a few examples. Conoces a algunos miembros del coro? You know some members. Now, remember, this is the personal a. So, when we're talking about people, we throw in that a. Conoces a algunos miembros, because there are people. Let's look at a couple others here. Vas a San Francisco? Conozco San Francisco. Okay, you're going to San Francisco? I know San Francisco. I'm familiar with it. I've been there. Conozco San Francisco. Now, just since we're mentioning that a, I'll mention here, if we added that a in this case, conozco a San Francisco. Now, this is a personal a, so now this is saying I know the person, St. Francis. Well, I'm not talking about the person. I'm talking about the city, so I'll leave the personal a out. Conozco San Francisco. Okay, a couple more here. Conocer, nosotros conocemos a muchas personas que participan en el Club de Español. We know muchas personas que participan en el Club de Español. Again, we're talking about people, so we've got the personal a. It's we conocemos. Familiar with them. Okay, so those are some quick uh, examples. Let's take a quiz here, una prueba. Choose which to know goes in the blank and then conjugate it correctly. Here we go. El novio de Guadalupe, blank, bailar muy bien. Blank, bailar muy bien. Knows to dance very well. Okay. First of all, the verb is saber. The conjugation for el novio de Guadalupe, Guadalupe's boyfriend, would be sabe. El novio de Guadalupe sabe bailar muy bien. Knows how to. Next one. 
Blank, tú, a muchas personas. Blank, tú, a muchas personas de nuestra escuela. Do you know many people from our school? Okay, first of all, which verb is it? It'd be conocer, because we're talking about knowing people. What's the conjugation? Conoces. Conoces tú a muchas personas de nuestra escuela? Next one. Blank, tú, la respuesta a la pregunta. Do you know the response or the, the answer to the question? Correct verb would be saber. Conjugation, sabes. Sabes tú la respuesta a la pregunta? Two more here. Josefina blank al presidente del club de, de computadoras. Josefina knows the president of the Spanish club. I'm sorry, of the computer club. Josefina conoce. Conoce al presidente. Now, if you said sabe, you would say sabe quién es el presidente. She knows who it is. But since we're just saying blank, just simply she knows the president, it would be conoce. Josefina conoce al presidente uh, del club de computadoras. And our last one, Josefina también knows jugar a los bolos. Which one? She knows how to go bowling. Well, the verb will be saber. Since it's Josefina, it would be saber. Josefina sabe jugar a los bolos. Okay, that's a real quick review of the difference between saber and conocer. We'll talk more about those in class. Chao.